Will 2022 law changes impact your estate plan? I'm Daniel Hunt, a certified specialist in estate planning, trust, and probate law. In this video, I'll be sharing some of the top estate planning law changes to keep in mind in 2022. Number one, the gift tax exclusion. The gift tax exclusion amount in 2022 has increased to $16,000 per individual or $32,000 per married couple splitting their gifts. In other words, you can give up to $16,000 to as many people as you wish without those gifts counting against your lifetime exemption. Number two, the federal estate tax exemption. The federal estate tax and gift tax exemption has once again increased to $12.06 million per individual or $24.12 million for a married couple, up from $11.7 million in 2021. This means that you can give away $12.06 million in assets over the course of your life without owing any federal state tax. The IRS and Treasury have clarified that the government will not claw back gifts given between 2018 and 2025 that exceed $5 million with respect to someone who dies in or after 2026. However, under the 2012 Act, the $12.06 million exemption will end on December 31st, 2025 and go down to $5 million. So if you have a large estate, be sure to make an appointment with an experienced estate planning attorney to discuss how this may affect you. Number three, required minimum distributions. On January 1st, 2022, new life expectancy tables went into effect. These tables are used for determining required minimum distributions, or RMDs, from IRAs and qualified retirement plans. The new tables affect traditional IRA owners who have reached their required beginning date for taking their RMDs. Also, qualified retirement plan participants who have reached their required beginning date for taking their RMDs and beneficiaries of an inherited IRA or qualified retirement plan, check with your plan administrator or financial advisor regarding how to compute your RMDs for the calendar year 2022 using the new tables. Number four, the Build Back Better Act. On November 19th, 2021, the U.S. House of Representatives passed the Build Back Better Act. As of the time of filming this video, the Senate has not yet voted on the act. Here are two significant changes included in the House passed version of the act. A new 5% additional federal income tax on modified adjusted gross income, or MAGI, over $10 million for unmarried individuals and married individuals filing jointly, or on MAGI over $200,000 for estates and non-grantor trusts. A new 3% federal income tax after applying the 5% additional tax on modified adjusted gross income over $25 million for unmarried individuals and married individuals filing jointly, or to modified adjusted gross income over $500,000 for estates and non-grantor trusts. The following taxes remain unchanged in the House passed version of the Act. The top 37% federal income tax rate on ordinary income, the top 20% federal income tax rate on long-term capital gains or qualified dividends, the top 40% federal transfer tax rate, the federal transfer tax exclusion amounts, and the use of grantor trusts for estate planning purposes. Congress continues to negotiate this legislation. Be sure to work with an experienced estate planning attorney and CPA for advice as estate and tax laws continue to evolve. Thanks. We hope you found this video helpful. And if you'd like more information on estate planning or our law firm, you can check us out on Facebook, Twitter, or our website that are listed below. If you'd like to contact us, you can do so at 916-488-9788 or at our email info at dhtrustlaw.com. Thanks.